Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Skies are fair for the most part. We are still dealing with a little piece of energy that has kind of been left behind by a front that moved through here earlier, and it is kicking off a shower or thunder shower very close to Smith Mountain Lake, right along Highway 24, Southern Bedford County. Then you head into areas very close to Gretna. There's a shower right along Highway 40, stray shower along Highway 57 as well, just to the west of Chatham. There's even a stray shower right now up into Nelson County. So the front's gone, but it kind of left in its wake a very weak disturbance that should get out of here over the next couple of hours or so. Bigger picture showing that the cold front has moved to the east. High pressure starting to build in. That should be our main dominant weather feature here as we head throughout the course of Thursday and Friday. Now on Thursday, we are looking at a mix of sun and clouds. We are looking at the uh, partly sunny skies heating tough into Thursday afternoon. Partly cloudy for us as we head into Thursday night. Friday starts dry with a mix of sun and clouds, and I see no reason why things won't change much as we head into Friday afternoon. Partly sunny skies Thursday, partly sunny skies on Friday. The computer model here wants to generate a stray little sprinkle or shower Thursday afternoon, and then again on Friday afternoon. At this point, I don't buy it. I think we're going to be dry everywhere both days. It looks like our next best chance for some spotty showers will probably come on Saturday. The wedge looks to set into play for us here as we start out the weekend. Into the tropics we go. Lots to talk about. We've got Tropical Depression Harvey, which is in the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It's looking better organized, but it has not yet gotten to a tropical storm status. That will probably happen at some point in time tomorrow. Latest from the National Hurricane Center, winds of 35 miles per hour, still meandering to the northwest at 2 miles per hour. So it has not picked up any forward steam. It looks like it will over the course of the next couple of days. It could very well make landfall near Corpus Christi, Texas as a Category 1 hurricane. It's either going to be a very weak hurricane or a very strong tropical storm by the time it makes its way on shore very close to Corpus Christi at some point in time Friday evening. This is going to be an absolutely enormous rainmaker for Texas and maybe even Louisiana. We are looking at some rainfall totals, say from Houston through Victoria, south into Corpus Christi and Brownsville, anywhere between 6 and 15 inches of rain. Flooding is no doubt going to be a huge concern for coastal sections of Texas. It's going to be a concern even as you head towards southern Louisiana near New Orleans as we head into this upcoming weekend. That moisture could feasibly impact us here a little bit by the middle of next week. We'll continue to watch it closely for you. 72 in Lynchburg, also in Roanoke, 73 Danville. It's 67 in Blacksburg. It's even cooler up in areas north and west. This is your air mass coming in behind the front, so it looks like we will start to cool down here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Not only are we going to cool down, but those dew points have gone down as well. The dew points in the mountains are in the 40s and 50s, so you're already talking about drier conditions into the New River Valley and also Allegheny Highlands, while on the south side you're probably saying, hey, wait a minute here. It's still very muggy outside my front door. Give it about another six to eight hours. I think you'll notice by tomorrow morning as you step outside out across south side, you too will be a little more comfortable. Quite the turnaround as far as 90 degree days, August 1st through the 15th, we had no 90 degree days since. And of course, we're talking about a span of about eight days. We've had seven 90 degree days. So quite the turnaround here lately. I will tell you that this heat wave we've been experiencing will go by the wayside here over the course of the next uh, day or two. It looks like today we hit the upper 80s to near 90. Tomorrow we're in the low to mid 80s. And next week we're going to be in the middle 70s. Forecast for tonight, partly cloudy, nice, maybe a stray shower or two around for the next couple of hours in areas, say, east of the parkway. And then for the day tomorrow, look at this, 83, partly sunny. We are cooler with a northwest wind at 4 to 8 miles per hour. 83 is your 3 degree guarantee high on our Thursday. We're near 80 on Friday, middle 70s, Saturday all the way through Wednesday of next week. Again, on Saturday, we will have the chance for some spotty showers along with a lot of cloud cover and cool temperatures. Why? Because of the wedge. The wedge should break at some point in time on Sunday. Sunday should see a little more sun than Saturday. Monday's dry. Best chance for rain next week looks to be on Wednesday and that could be some tropical moisture. We'll see how it all pans out. Today we forecast 85, actual high 89. No money in the pot, $540 so far raised for the Roanoke Children's Theater.